Hey guys, my Kentucky Range Time, back with another episode of our 4570 Ballistic Job Lock Test Series. And in this episode, we're looking at the Lehigh Defense 305 grain extreme penetrator bullet. Now, this is the bullet that looks like the Phillips screwdriver tip. And uh, <laughs> this is an older box of these bullets. Uh, I actually went back online looking for these earlier. And uh, I, I only found these in a copper offering. And uh, the bullets that I actually have loaded are brass. So uh, I don't know when Lehigh has made that change, uh, but they have apparently made that change. And this is now only, I could only find it in copper. Doesn't mean they still don't have it in brass out there somewhere, but uh, like I said, it, it, it was not evident to me where that was if they did. So this being a, a, a pretty unique design on the tip of this bullet, uh, this, this screwdriver tip, this is really close to the, uh, the uh, extreme cavitator, or not the extreme cavitator, but the extreme defense round as well. And this bullet is not designed to give any expansion. Uh, so there's there's no expansion, uh, wasn't even part of the design on this. The, the, the tip of this bullet is designed to create a massive um, temporary wound cavity with hydrostatic shock. Uh, that actually expands out into the target and creates massive flesh and tissue damage. And so that's why the shape of this bullet is designed with these little ramps in it like it is. It, it cuts and separates, and then you'll you'll actually get to see this in the gel test. Uh, the slow motion camera caught it pretty well. So uh, let's turn around here and take a quick look at the loading, and then we'll head on out to the range. All right, guys, so uh, here we are. I am R4198, and uh, you're, you're going to you're going to see a pattern here. I, I really like 4198 for 4570 loads, so you're going to see that quite a bit. Uh, there are a few exceptions, but not very many. Uh, CCI large rifle primers. These are the number 200 primers, and of course the uh, Lehigh Defense 305 gram extreme penetrator bullet. And uh, one quick note on this: this this is still a .45 cal diameter bullet. Uh, some of these all coppers will actually vary the diameter on their bullets uh, just a little bit, but uh, Lehigh has actually kept to the .458 cal on this bullet as well. So you can see here, there is a substantial amount of this case, uh, bullet down in the case, even for a 300 grain. This is about the same amount of fill we had with the 405 grain Missouri Bullet Company cast bullet and the, the, uh, the Hornady 410 grain sub X uh, with really similar uh, volume case, you know, case reduction, case volume reduction numbers here. And that's because the this brass or copper is uh, uh, not near as dense and it takes a lot more surface area, a lot bigger volume to gain the weight with these bullets. Uh, these are the last two of these that I have loaded. Of course, this one being in nickel brass and uh, nickel plated brass and this one being in actual brass. So uh, there's a, a ballistic chart coming up at the end of the video as well as a spreadsheet with the data on this. Those will be in the slideshow, and you can pull up all the load data and all the all the pertinent information from the test results um, at the end of the video here. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's head out here and see what this thing does. Hey guys, my Kentucky Range. I'm back with another episode of our 4570 ballistic gel block testing, and today we're taking a look at the Lehigh Defense 305 grain extreme penetrator bullet, and this actually is a brass bullet. Uh, a lot of their, their offerings are, are copper now. And I uh, actually went to look for this and, and did not find it uh, in a brass bullet any longer. It's now being made out of uh, out of copper, it looks like. So uh, I have had this bullet for several years. And uh, if they still make it in brass, I, I just didn't find it. So, uh, but we're gonna be testing this out here at 10 yards into ballistic gel block to see what kind of penetration we get not expecting any expansion out of this, and we should be looking at a pretty decent uh, temporary wound cavity. Uh, the hydrostatic, this actually doesn't go for permanent wound channeling, it goes for hydrostatic damage. And uh, so that's what we're gonna be taking a look for. We got a fairly clean piece of gel block up front, a little cloudy, but we should be able to see the, uh, the temporary wound cavity that this thing creates. So uh, I'll be shooting at least three of these to get a good baseline velocity and we want to get at least one or two good catches in the gel block, and uh, we may go for three good catches in the gel block. So, uh, all right, let's uh, let's get started. Velocities will be coming from the Garmin Cero Pro C1. Shots will be <clears throat> from the CVA Scout takedown, <clears throat> and uh, 
at the end of the video, I'll have a spreadsheet with all the uh, statistics, the, the velocities, the expansion, penetration, well, it probably won't be an expansion, but penetration numbers uh, and all that stuff. <clears throat> and I'll also generate a, a, a range ballistics chart based on the velocities that we generate here with this round so that you can see how this bullet performs as it goes down range. So stay tuned at the end of the video. Those will be slides in the slideshow at the end of the video. All right, guys, let's get this thing in the gel block. <clears throat> Lehigh Defense 305 grain extreme penetrator, shot number one. Nice. All right, velocity of 2286.6. And let's go see if we got the catch with this one. All right, so we did not get a catch. Uh, wound track starts right here. <clears throat> Looks like we've got this bullet spinning out here at around uh, 14 inches and some more out here as it hits the second gel block. And we exit the gel block right here at 32 inches. So let's go back and try this one again. All right, Lehi 305 grain extreme penetrator, shot number two. Problem all day. Can't keep these gel blocks on the table. <laughs> all right, let me. Uh, pretty sure we got the catch on this one. Let, let me go get this gel block set back up, and we'll see what we got. All right, guys, so entry was right here for this one. And uh, looks like we got a similar wound channel. Uh, we're coming down here. Looks like we've got some spin again right on down. And we're sitting here at about 36 and a half inches. Let's see it down in there. And as suspected, we don't have a whole lot going on with this bullet. I actually could probably load and fire this one again. So, all right, let's go put one more of these into the gel block here. All right, Lehigh Defense, 305 grain extreme penetrator, shot number three, also into the gel block. shot average velocity of 2279.2 standard deviation of 6.2 foot per second and kinetic energy of 3518.9 foot pounds so this is just a beast of a bullet guys all right so we're starting to get some shade over the shooting table here which is actually going to help quite a bit um, let's go back and take a look at this catch all right guys so uh all three of these wound channels one two and three are very typical um so it looks like we're coming out here about nine inches and we're, we're getting some, uh, some movement on this bullet, probably spinning. And, uh, and then we move on down through here into straight line penetration. And for this actual shot, we're sitting out here at 32, or I'm sorry, 38 and a quarter inches. 
All right, guys. So uh, I almost just left the new bullets up there, but uh, eh, somebody might miss uh, the rifling marks in those. So here we go. So these are the two fired bullets, and these are two new ones. Uh, a really good look here at the detail of the cuts here in this uh, this Phillips screwdriver tip, as everybody likes to call them. But other than that, guys, there was zero expansion on these bullets. Uh, I, I'm, I have been guilty of reloading these, and I, I probably will keep these back. If it wasn't for cre creating my library of, of tested bullets, these probably would go back in the box and get loaded the very next trip out. But uh, but I am keeping all of these bullets from all my gel block tests. I'm actually generating a, a library I can go back at any time and set these things back out and open them up and take a look at them. So, uh, so that's what we've got going on here. While we're here, let's take a quick look at the spreadsheet numbers. So the average velocity on the three shots was a 2,279 foot per second. Foot pounds of energy, 3,525 foot pounds of energy with these. Standard deviation between the three shot group was 6.2. And uh, final expansion, 458, zero. Uh, weight retention, 305, zero percent lost weight. And penetration for these rounds, we had 36 and a half and 38 and a quarter inches of penetration for an average of 36 and a half inches of penetration. So guys, these, these bullets, uh, they just did the trick. And you saw that on the slow motion shot here. And uh, you know, they do what they're designed to do. And uh, they're, there's, they're not dependent on expansion. I don't, I don't know what these bullets would look like hitting something at a slower velocity, but I do know that it is substantial and not being dependent on expansion. Anything they hit is going to have a, a, a lot of hydrostatic shock done to it. All right, guys. And uh, here it is, the 305 grain extreme penetrator. And according to Lehigh Defense, the minimum effective velocity for this bullet is 750 foot per second. And, uh, Curious enough, we do have a ballistics chart coming up here in just a second. So I'm going to reference that. You'll see it coming up here in just a minute in the slideshow. But uh, this thing, this bullet maintains, okay, muzzle velocity, 2,279 foot per second at the muzzle. 100 yard velocity is 1,892.3 foot per second, 2,425 foot pounds at 100 yards. Uh, 200 yards 1,533 foot per second, 300 yards, 1,258 foot per second, and 1,072 foot pounds of energy. And 400 yards, we are at 1,050 foot per second uh, with 748 foot pounds of energy. So 750 is the minimum um, effective velocity for this cavitator style bullet to uh, actually create that hydrostatic shock that we're looking for. Much lower than what we normally see expansion for solid coppers and some of the, the, the cast uh, lead core bullets. So uh, a very low velocity uh, to, to be effective. And actually I'm gonna have to go back to my, my range chart and see where 750 breaks time out. Okay, so now I know where I'm at. So the minimum velocity, 750 foot per second, hits about 550 to 560 feet downrange for this bullet. That's where the velocity slows down to 750 foot per second. So absolutely substantial distance uh, to get effectiveness out of this. If you can hit it, you're gonna do some damage to it. And I, I tried on my spreadsheet, the, the ballistic chart spreadsheet coming up here, I use Adobe Express to, to merge these pictures together. So that spreadsheet is actually three different screenshots that I have edited, uh, enhanced, and combined together in, in uh, Adobe Express to, uh, to, make a, uh, uh, to make a collage to have one picture posted up. It will not allow me to import four pictures into that collage and keep the, the, the columned layout that I need for this. So um, I was forced, I actually started out with four, four columns earlier on, and I, I was forced to come back to three after I about threw my phone out, and the wife was mad at me because I was complaining so much of that. And, and Adobe just recently made those changes. I, I'm used to having that system, <laughs> my system, uh, to build these things out and 
to move through them pretty quick. And they updated their program here a couple of months ago, and it's horrible now. Adobe Express is horrible. They they tried to make it all AI, and they tried to anticipate what everybody wanted. They won't just let you go in there and do what you used to be able to do. They they want to they want to just do everything for you, and it's sometimes it's easier just to do what you want to do. Anyway, rant over. Uh, so amazing this this bullet really is amazing to, to to be effective at 750 foot per second at 550 yards down range is astounding you'll be hard pressed to find uh, a, a lead core copper jacketed bullet where you're going to get enough expansion at that distance uh, to generate that kind of damage so there it is guys lehigh defense just another awesome choice and if if you're in doubt go back and rewatch. Uh, the gel block on the slow motion part and, and and just pause it for a second and and look at the at the temporary wound cavity that this thing created when it was passing through there it was just amazing so all right guys comments let's hear those i know this is not a traditional style bullet a lot of guys don't like this but uh it's probably because a lot of guys have never really ran it uh in anything so i don't see this bullet having got the use that the traditional bullets have over the last hundreds of years and, uh, but it might be something you're, you want to give a try at one time. So check it out again, any comments you've got, post those up. Be glad to hear those. Uh, uh, take a second and give me a like, give me a subscribe, share my video, leave a comment, check out my affiliate links and guys, as always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.